Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. friends and fellow world changers. Trust you had an awesome day yesterday. Welcome to today's episode. We're looking at the success principles God preloaded into Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. By now, we know God's word is the secret and foundation of success. And today's title is Surrendering to God's Guidance. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 emphasize the importance of trusting in God wholeheartedly and surrendering our own understanding. By submitting to God in all areas of life, we invite his guidance and direction, leading to the strengthening of our paths. The key takeaway from Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 is whole one of them is wholehearted trust. Success is found in trusting God completely rather than relying solely on our own wisdom. Submitting to God's will in all aspects of life opens the door to his guidance and direction. God promises to straighten our paths when we trust and submit to him ensuring success in our endeavors. The story of Cornel Sanders, the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken, or which we all know as KFC, is an example that embodies the principle of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Cornel Sanders began his journey to success later in life. He started selling fried chicken from his roadside restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky during the Great Depression. And despite the initial success, the construction of a new interstate highway led to a significant decline in customers, which eventually forced him to close his restaurant. So at the age of 65, with nothing but a social security check of $105 and his secret chicken recipe, Sanders was far from giving up. He hit the road, knocking on doors, sleeping in his car, offering his recipe to restaurants. He faced rejection 1,009 times before he finally received his first yes. With that one yes, KFC was born. Cornel Sanders exemplified not leaning on his own understanding, but pursuing his vision with faith and perseverance, even when the odds seem insurmountably against him. This story illustrates the success principle of trusting in a path larger than what we can see and understand. Cornel Sanders' unwavering belief in his chicken recipe and his determination to share it with the world, despite facing repeated rejections, demonstrates the power of faith and perseverance. His life is a testament to the fact that when we trust in our path and continue to push forward, acknowledging every step as part of a larger journey, success is possible, often in ways we least expect. So the success principles here would be wholehearted trust in God, surrender and submission to God's will, divine guidance and direction. In conclusion, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 teaches us that success is rooted in trusting and submitting to God rather than relying on our own understanding. And by surrendering to God's will, and seeking his guidance, we can navigate life's challenges with confidence, knowing that he will lead us on straight paths. 
Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I trust God with all my heart and submit to his will. I embrace his divine guidance and direction with confidence in his wisdom and sovereignty. I walk the straight paths he has prepared for me, knowing that success follows obedience to his word. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out and make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you again tomorrow. Thank you.